Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you my new Daisy Chernerus 1.11 update compatible 4 times loot, PvP, zombie hordes and loads more XMLs that you can upload to your Xbox or PlayStation or PC server to give you lots of lots of cool stuff. Um, in the description below the video you'll see a link to Balshad's Discord, Balshad's PayPal and my GitHub. And if you're familiar with these sorts of things already, you might not want to read read or watch the rest of this video. You might just want to go there, down there, click on my GitHub uh, and crack on with it. But for everybody else, let's go through these files. But first, credit where credit's due. My kind of new uh, rejuvenation, if you like, with um, doing these uh, custom uh, 1.11 files, these custom XML mod packs, has been Balshad's Discord. Um, uh, and what Balshad has done, and you may may know him from Don Sibley's um, Discord, he's put together all his knowledge on uh, XML modding for Xbox, PlayStation, and obviously PC as well, and put them in a really handy Discord where it's got everything broken down into in different channels. Um, very, very cool, very, very helpful. So the first thing you really want to do is go down, click on the link to his discord and join that as uh, so there's loads of good stuff and also what you might want to do is nip on over to his paypal and um and chuck him a couple of bucks for bringing this information together in such a cool and easy to understand and easy to read way so anyway back to these xml mod packs so the way they work is that you would you go to my github and you download all these files and all you have to do is you simply upload them over the top of your existing file so you've got to upload them in the right place but can i show you how to do that in a bit um and then restart your server and then over time these new things will start spawning in these events will will, will happen um you don't need to do a clean install or anything like that. you don't have to wipe anybody's progress now how quickly some of these things will change will depend on the population of your server because what happens with daisy servers is when the last person logs off the server goes to sleep and things like spawning and um, despawning stops happening so the lifetime of things so that the length that things hang around can be can be quite long on on a pop, pop server that uh, doesn't have any people on also if you've got lots of people on the server and they're constantly interacting with items they won't despawn either so so don't worry too much now i have done a reasonable amount of testing with this and it does seem to most of it does seem to be working but you never know there may well be errors also feel free to to change these files download them do whatever you want with them that you know they're free and as i say they're compatible with daisy 1.11 and when daisy rolls over to 1.12 or whatever we get next you know there, there'll be a new version that, that comes out so what do they give you these files what do they give you so you can read this for yourself but if you go through the readme or the four times loot pvp zombies xml uh, file you, you'll see there actually i should explain how to get these files if you click on the green code button and download the zip and then extracts it that will get you all the codes so what do you get so the first bit of the readme is just a you know warning saying be careful you know i don't I don't supply this this, uh, this this code with any sort of warranty or guarantee. If you use it, it could well destroy your server, could well wipe everybody's progress. So I don't guarantee there's no bugs in it or anything like that. So XMLs included from previous files. So you may well know I've got like, I've done like Zombieland XML mod packs. I've got the um, hunting fishing ones, and basically they have got chunks of those in. So what do you get? So there's more animals to hunt so as you're wandering around the map you'll hear more animals so you can track them down um there's lots and lots of the m3s trucks i mean lots i, I mean one at almost every spawn point that is full of building stuff just be bear in mind that the trucks are bugged out a little bit at the moment and although there's the loot in the back of them um all the planks and metal sheeting and logs there's there's something wrong with the game they don't spawn in properly in the back of the truck so but that will change as uh, Bohemian Interactive update the game. The Aders, which is the little four by four, has got building equipment as well. Um, and the Olga uh, comes with um, a fishing rod in the back. Uh, the Gunter comes with a blaze and a scope in the back. The Sarka comes with uh, farming stuff, so a spade and seeds in the back. Also, all the cars um, and the trucks come complete with all the wheels, a battery. Uh, radiator if they have one obviously the trucks don't and there is a jerry can full of fuel in the back as well so you can you can fuel the vehicle in the case of the m3s truck then it's ready to go 
what you've got to do with the cars is you've got to fuel the vehicle and then take take the jerry can to the nearest water source doesn't matter if it's dirty water fill it up and then put water in the radiator and the cars are good to go and also in the back of the car you'll find uh, there's a water bottle i think can of drink food can opener lighter i think i've put a gas cooker in there as well water purification tablets and a cooking pot um so yeah so it's very easy to find a vehicle there's loads of them they're almost at every single spawn point there's more bears there's more wolf packs but not too many um there's more helicopter crash sites uh dynamic event loot weapons so this is like the lar or the fal the vss the sval and the vsd um i've increased those so that you should find more of those around the map um also they're now counted only on the map, not also on the player. And the other thing I did was I removed non-weapons from helicopter crashes as well. Most of them as well. So things like the ghillie suits aren't on dynamic events. They're not on helicopter crashes. I've just put them in normal military locations. So as you're you know, wandering around Bellotta military um, on Bellotta camps, you should, you know, you'll be able to find ghillie wraps and things like that. There's more nails. There's more duct tape and sharpening stones. There's more axes. Uh, there's coloured axes as well. Uh, the coloured and black variants of the um, assault rifle should now spawn in, as well as the camouflage version of the Mosans um, in tier 3 and tier 4 locations. Magazines, when they spawn in, should spawn in basically almost full. Um, and when you, when a gun spawns in, um, it should spawn in with a magazine already in, it, already in it, and also it should already have bullets in that magazine. So guns basically are ready to go. Um, some surprises, so books with, so books or pumpkin helms, weed, alcohol, cigarettes, that sort of stuff comes in. Um, I, I didn't put it in, but rifles as well. Uh, hunting rifles that take scopes should spawn in with scopes. So things like the, um, the well, it's not really a hunting rifle, is it? But the SKS should spawn in with a scope, and the Blaze should, should spawn in with a scope. Um, so that, so that you know, so you can, again, you just have to find the bullets for them. The guns that have internal magazines... Um, like the shotguns and the SKS don't spawn in with bullets you've got to add them yourself so then so that, that's all pretty cool in itself but then what I've also added in for these XML mods is I've changed some of the colored assault rifles to um, dynamic event loots so there's more chance of you finding a, a good weapon at a helicopter crash because don't know about you but a lot of the time when i go to the helicopter crashes you, do, you don't find good weapons so there's those now you'll also see here that it says helicopter crashes and police cars um, because the other thing i've done as well is that the police cars now don't have you know, these are the random ones that appear that there's lots more of them to start off with there's basically a, a police car at every single police car spawn point but they spawn in military stuff as well so where before they would just spawn in like you know some some food maybe or or a police jacket or a police hat you'll find military stuff at them so it's another place to look um also the m4 uh double mag the coupled mag and the akm drum mag they're now dynamic events uh spawn so they'll you'll only find them on helicopter crashes and police cars um Increased bullet vests, uh, press vests and assault vests, that's all done. Now, I then also increased the number of helicopter crashes again. So there's lots and lots of helicopter crashes. Uh, changed police car spawn items to military, so that's done. We now have zombie hordes in the countryside. So the way that works is where helicopter crashes might be, you'll f there's also a chance that there might be a zombie horde, which will have about 30 zombies in it. So you've got to be a little bit more careful. Now, this isn't as much as in my zombie land files in my zombie land files you've got zombie hordes in the countryside and you also got zombie hordes around police cars i haven't included the police cars ones because that made it too too many zombies but zombie hordes in the countryside so as you're wandering around be careful because you may come across you know 30 zombies wandering around in the middle of nowhere four times food four times drinks that's all done and there's at least four times ars and four times smgs there's more shotguns there's now a static smoking heli crash in the middle of the northwest airfield um, I did that just to. It just gives you a direction to go in. If you, you'll see in a minute that I've. There's also a Northwest Airfield PVP event as part of this pack, um, and um, I just wanted it to, to to give you an idea where the middle of the the airfield kind of is. Added comment commented out Northwest Airfield spawn points, which I'll show you in a second. Military event for PVP spawns Northwest Airfield. That's done. There's now a water pump at Northwest Airfield as well. 
Um, did I do a picture of it? Let's have a look. Yeah, so near the air traffic control tower, there's this water pump. Now there should be another one as well up in the north near the near the barracks, but that doesn't always work. Um, but that one definitely does. So you've got a, you've got a way to get a way to get water. Now you added cans, drink, compass, and shotgun to dry bags and more dry bags at coast. So let me show you that as well. So the idea with this is that all along the coast, there's way more of these dry bags. So when you're a fresh spawn, if you just run along the coast and look for a dry bag, when you find one inside it, it'll have a pump action shotgun, two boxes of shells for it, a compass, some tactical bacon, a can opener, a can of Pipsy, and a bandage. So, so it just gives you a little bit of a, you know, a PVP start, and you'll kind of get the idea that with these files, there's going to be a lot more shooting PVP going on. Um, what else pictures have we got? Now, here we go. So. As part of this pack, you've also got the option to change the spawn points for people as well. Um, and what you can do is you can uh, do it so that everybody spawns around the Northwest Airfield. And then also you can turn on an event where near the spawn points around the Northwest Airfield, all these tents will appear. And inside these tents, there's one is gear is uh, dynamic event gear which is good weapons military weapons um so the idea is there another one? all right let's go back so the idea with this is if you want to have a pvp event at northwest airfield um you just turn on the spawns turn on this event and all of a sudden all of these these tents will appear and literally you'll spawn very very close to one of these tents you can get a gun you you know there might be a backpack there might be a vest and you can then head off into the northwest airfield to have your pvp event or you could you know hit a couple of tents and, and get quite well, well well kitted up so let's have a look at the files now to kind of explain let's explain how that happens to start off with so as it is normally you know you'll spawn around the edge of chernerus as you'd expect but if you want to do the pvp event there's two things you've got you can do um, you go to the cfg player spawn points xml file and what you'll see in in it the top of it is just the normal player spawn points file with all the normal coordinates here and then when you get after the normal coordinates you'll find a commented out area that says uh northwest airfield spawn points below so move the comment brackets around and above spawn points to activate so what that means is if you wanted um these spawn points to become active so these are the ones that spawn you around the edge of the northwest airfield well it's kind of inside you're inside the back of the um the outer bit of it but you're spawning in around what you do is you would take that you would uh, cut that out and then you would just put it at the top above the first bit of pause and then you take the end comment bit which is those two hyphens and the arrow there so you cut that out and then you would put that there okay so in effect what we've done is when you put something within comments uh, uh, brackets in in the daisy xml's the game then ignores them so as you can see now the normal coordinates are all ignored and the northwest airfield comments um, coordinates are now live and then the other thing you do is then you go to the events.xml and you look for this one, static NWAF tent one. It's right at the top. And you see at the moment it's active to zero. And what you would do is you set that for one. In fact, there's a comment next to it that says set this to one when you want to run a Northwest Airfield PvP event and activate the Northwest Airfield spawn points in CVG play spawn points. So as soon as you've done that and you restart your server, all the static Northwest Airfield tents will appear. Um, and all of the uh, new players, so people, you know, they have to die first, will then appear at the Northwest Airfield, um, and that will happen. Now, there is there is a problem that happens with these um, buildings that that you spawn in dynamically in the in the fact that what happens with these tents and any any building we spawn in dynamically and add stuff to, this might happen to the police cars as well, probably not. But especially with these ones is you get a tendency for the game to not clear up the the loot very well so what can happen is as the every time the server restarts or the central loot economy does a pass you can get 
loot start to pile up um, in, inside these things. Um, so you can end up with loads of weapons or loads of gear in, inside these areas. And it's starting to suck them out of other areas as well. So one of the things you'll want to do is, if that if that is the case and you notice it happening, you just want to um, turn the event back to zero, save it on your file, save it on your server, restart it to kind of turn it off again, so that it gets rid of it all, um, and then uh, things uh, should go back to normal. Um, and then obviously, when you want to change your spawn points back to normal, just change those. Just take that. Cut that out of there. Put that there. Take those arrows there. Cut them from there. And then put them there. There we go. And now we've commented out all the Northwest Airfield spawn points. And you've got the, the regular spawn points there. Um, so that's that bit. Um, we've also got the uh, messages from XML. So what this does is this gives you a seven. What's seven twenty divided by sixty? Seven twenty divided by sixty. Twelve hour. Yeah. So the messages file gives you a twelve hour restart. Um, spawnable types. This gives is giving you all the um, the cool. Uh, items complete with with attachments and um, magazines the assault rifles and the submachine guns um, will, will spawn with a magazine um, and then they'll spawn with a random thing with it as well um, you know so, so you will get lots of different types of, of assault rifles and m4s and all that stuff some with suppressors some with not i've left that random so i think that's quite cool damage as well actually um, damage is set to 0.1 and 0.2 so everything should spawn in pristine um, the map group proto what this file does is that changes the um, type of loot that spawns in with the police cars it's from police to military so that's what does that zombie territories this is the one that adds the infected army hordes cfg planes player spawn points we've talked about and cfg event spawns again this is telling uh, the game where to uh, where to spawn in the other stuff so there we go so let's go back to actually physically how you put this onto your server so as I said before, click on the code button, download the zip, and extract it into your um, onto your PC or your laptop. Go to your server. We're using Nitrado as an example here. Go to the web interface. Uh, you really want to stop your server at this point, and you want to go into the file browser. And all we're doing is we're uploading everything on top of the existing files. So we want to go into the Daisy Missions folder. Um, on PC, you've got to dig a little bit further before you get to the missions folder. I remember on Chernerus, it will say Chernerus. If it's Enoch, that's Livonia. And then in this um, first uh, folder, this first um, directory, you'll you'll get all the CFGs. So this is where we learn. This is where we upload um, uh, CFG event spawn, CFG player spawn point, CFG spawnable types, uh, and map group proto. They're all going to go. Up in, on top of these ones so you just hit the upload button uh, you select those files and you upload them and then you go into the DB directory or the DB folder and this is where we put the events the types and the messages fo uh, file on top of these ones and then you want to go back and then you go into the ENV folder and this is where we put the zombie territories uh, file so you would upload that on top of that one and once you've done all those, just restart the server. And then, uh, as I say, in time, things will start to happen. The events will, should start to happen pretty much straight away. But all the stuff that's already on the server, so all the weapons and all the gear that spawned in, damaged and incomplete and without magazines, it's going to take that a while to disappear. And then it will slowly be replaced by, by the new stuff. Or as I say, you know, you could do a... If you were doing a fresh install, but remember with a fresh install, everybody's progress, everybody's characters kind of gets wiped. So have some fun with this. Um, it's one of the most common things I get asked for. Lots of you know, lots of boosted loot and some more zombies and sort of a PvP element, um, and it's and it's all there. If you find any bugs in it, stuff that doesn't work, please let me know in the comments below the video, and I will uh, update the files. And of course, once again, I say head on over to Balsam Shad's Discord, sign up because there's so many great tutorials that will make your Daisy uh, XML modding um, a real breeze. There we go. That's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will see you again soon.